Pacifiers can help your baby soothe themselves during times of distress. Community Medical Center's lactation consultant Kelly Holt dives into all the things you'll want to know about using one with your child. It can be a tool used um, you know, for babies to soothe the baby, to increase oral function, sucking. Really it's, it's a parent choice if they want to introduce a pacifier. Uh, there's definitely always pros and cons to using any type of artificial sucking device. We really want to encourage baby sucking and feeding at the breast. Um, a baby is not born hungry. They just have a strong desire to be with mom and to suck. And so we really want to encourage any sucking at the breast and not with an artificial nipple. We want moms um, and parents to you know, pick up on those sucking and feeding cues. We really want them to wake baby at least every two to three hours, put baby to breast anytime baby wants to suck. We want baby at breast. If a parent chooses they want to do a pacifier, um, we really want to make sure we establish breastfeeding first. So ideal, wait three to four weeks before introducing a pacifier. If a parent is choosing to put baby to sleep with a pacifier, again, it's a parent choice. We just want to make sure they're doing it safely. Um, but it, um, studies do show that, you know, the sucking during sleeping uh, may help prevent against SIDS.